Hey Fab Girls! Do you have a special occasion to go to or something that you need to dress up for? And you may be all excited about it until you realize you have nothing to wear and you have to go shopping. I know the feeling because I've also got something like that. Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to take you with me as I shop for my special occasion dress and I'm going to give you tips on how to find yours. If you're new to my channel and even if you're not welcome, it's so wonderful to have you here. I'm filming from Union Square in New York and it is sweltering. It's the 5th of July, it's a beautiful day, but whew, this heat wave is something else. Anyway, so my passion is to really share tips with you that make you look and feel fabulous. And recently I've been filming from New York and taking you along with me as I shop for specific things that I need and all think that you're going to need. Now, I have a special audition coming up very soon. Don't worry, I'll fill you in on the details when it's time. But I have to find a plain color dress and it cannot be black. Okay, so if any of you follow me, which I know if you have been following me for a while, you'll know I generally don't do plain color dresses. I always do print dresses and there's a reason why because as soon as you go to a plain color it is so difficult to find a dress that doesn't show every lump and bump every panty line and bra line and i don't have to wear shapewear with it because i'm not a fan of shapewear and let me just tell you that even though i am slim and i'm fairly petite those of you who follow me will know this it is no plain colors are no respecter of persons let me tell you so let me take you along with me as i show you some of the dresses that i tried on and then i'll give you tips on how to find your perfect dress and also just a shout out to my viewer dana because this was actually her idea as she reached out to me about her special occasion and needing to find something to wear so dana thanks for the inspiration so I head off to Nordstrom Rack where I tried on a whole stack of dresses and I'm going to talk you through these, what I liked about them, what I didn't, and then give you some tips along the way. I'm not just going to be showing you the tips on my plain color dress because I'm going to show you why it is that I love print and why the shapes that I'm so crazy about really work for our body shape. So first up is this beautiful green jade dress and I love the color. That's actually what made me choose it and take it off the rack. Now I quite liked the plunging neckline but the bust didn't really fit very well. It kind of had this strange pleat there and I felt like it wasn't quite fitting perfectly. Then also I found that the length is a little bit dowdy but you know the length can be changed. I mean that's easy enough. So sometimes when you go into a store always just you know pull the dress up a little bit and see what it would look like if you had a shorter length. Sometimes you do need to take things to a tailor to get them perfected but just bearing in mind that sometimes tailoring can cost quite a bit so just bear that in mind when you're dealing with the budget of your dress. Okay but the thing that really put me off about this dress this is the thing that really did it for me that I was like absolutely not is check out these panty lines and this line this dress is actually lined now girls it goes to show you I'm a slim girl I don't have that many lumps and bumps okay I'm not perfect because nobody is that's how it goes but they are still lumps and bumps and I'm not crazy about it and I don't like the fact that it shows my panty lines so okay I'd have to be moving but I am gonna move right I'm gonna move in this dress and I need to know that I look fabulous so let's check out the next one now here's this green dress I love the color this color is a really good color for me but first of all it has absolutely no shape and look at what my belly looks like in this you see girls I'm telling you it doesn't matter what shape you are some of these rules or guidelines shall I say really do apply now yes I could belt it and all that kind of thing but it's just way too much effort I'm not liking the shape of this to me it looks like one big sack and I don't like what it's doing to my tummy so absolute no now here's a combination of print and plain. I quite like the coral color. That's usually a good color for me, but it's way too big. Also just to be aware of sometimes ladies with scuba, this is actually made of scuba and sometimes scuba can work really well because it's quite a firm fabric, but sometimes it can be quite voluminous and can add 
little bit too much extra volume. In this case, it's difficult for me to see because it's way too big for me. Also, with Scuba, you're gonna have to make sure that you've got the right bra on, especially with the light color. Because as you can see, I've got a little bit of a lace um, trim on the bra that I'm wearing and it's not working. It would absolutely have to have a t-shirt bra. So also just factor that in when you're buying a dress because you may have to specially buy underwear to suit the dress. See what I mean? Now this is more like it, but yes, it is a print and it is a scuba, but you see how it fits the body and molds the body. Also, it has a black base, which is a lot more forgiving, especially when it comes to panty lines and, you know, lumps and bumps and that kind of thing. But it is narrowed at the hem. Now, girls, I am a big fan of fit and flare dresses. And the reason being is that when you have flare, it actually balances everything else that goes above it. However, when it's narrowed towards the bottom, it can give you quite a nice hourglass look, but it also risks making your hips or your tummy or whatever your widest point is appear wider. So as much as I love this print, and also it's not the kind of dress that I need for my special occasion, then it means it's a no. Okay, now this just goes to show that not all prints and patterns are equal. If you've seen my videos before when I talk about print and pattern, I always say that you really do need to make sure in order for the print and pattern to work that it is a fitted garment and that it works well for your body shape. This is a beautiful print and I was attracted to it straight away. I love the fabric. I love the basic idea of it, but notice that it doesn't fit me properly. The top part does, but the bottom part's not great and it's not flared at the bottom it's quite straight and it's kind of like a mock wrap over type of thing it's definitely not working so not all prints are equal and you do need to find a dress that fits you almost a little bit on the snug side so you can let the print do its magical powers because the wonderful thing about print and pattern is that it disguises a multitude of things as i've been saying as you see with plain dresses not so easy Okay, now we are talking. I am so excited. I finally found my dress. Okay, now obviously it's my favorite color. As you know, red is my favorite color. It'll go perfectly with my red Melissa shoes, which I happen to have here with me in New York. But the key is, is that this does give me shape. So the undergarment is very fitted, but the little chiffon pieces on the side just float over my body, glide over my body, give the garment movement and hide the panty lines and the lumps and bumps. Cool too, right? So ladies, I hope you have found this. Now let me show you how I put this look together. ladies for watching i hope you found this really useful and that you're ready to go and shop for your special occasion outfit let me know in the comments below what you think whether you like the dresses which ones you liked what did you learn from this and then also do you have questions about the tips that i've given you i'd love to hear from you also, if you haven't already, if you're not aware, I do have a newsletter which will keep you updated. It's a weekly newsletter and keep you updated on all the various different things that I'll be up to. I am in the process of moving to New York and I have lots of events and lots of exciting things coming. So if you want to stay tuned, make sure to click the link in the description below. And that way you can subscribe to my newsletter. Also, what it will mean is that you get a free download on how to look fashionable over 40. So I hope you enjoyed this ladies, hope to chat with you lots more, communicate with you and check Dawn and I out on Friday mornings when we go live. We've got a couple of weeks left over of that. We'd love to chat to you there. Till next week.